4 pm tea time cravings could be a challenge every day thinking what snacks to make for kids today hey all my name is mano and welcome to mano cooks and this channel is all about redefining everyday recipes in a simpler way let's get started let's take poha or aval in a bowl wash it well with plain water and let's drain it in a sieve as i have done let's allow it to stay like that for 5 minutes so all the water runs and poha becomes soft and mushy too after 5 minutes as you see all the water is drained and poha is soft Now let's transfer it into a big bowl and mash it with hands. Friends if you're new here please consider subscribing to Mano Cooks as I bring very exciting recipes here in this channel and also click on the bell button. Now once poha is mashed very well let's take three boiled potatoes medium sized let's go ahead and mash all of them in the same bowl. Let's mix the mashed poha and mashed potato and break any potato chunks if we have either with hand or you can also use a potato masher to do this. Make sure to mash everything well before we add our flavoring ingredients. Now that everything is mashed let's add finely chopped onion I'm adding quarter cup onion here followed by quarter cup finely chopped green capsicum next let's add chopped green chili I have added one here you can add one more green chili too let's add 1 teaspoon grated ginger I'm adding 1 teaspoon sugar here and 1 teaspoon salt and add quarter teaspoon amchur powder and half teaspoon red chili powder add chaat masala half teaspoon and garam masala half teaspoon and followed by roasted cumin powder half teaspoon next is my secret ingredient chopped cashew nuts i have chopped 10 whole cashews into small pieces do try adding them to finish off let's add chopped coriander leaves now let's mix everything together friends if you feel you like this video please go ahead and hit the like button and do comment me down below what's your most favorite 4 pm snack Also I have an amazing healthy breakfast recipe which have been tried and tested by many of my subscribers. I'll give the link in the description box down below as well as on the top right corner of this video. After watching this video please remember to check that video out. Now as you can see we have mixed everything very well and formed it into a dough. Let's take a portion and shape it into a ball first and then keeping it between your palm make it flat and make it into half inch thick circular shapes as I'm doing it. Alternatively if you want to make them into small and thin pieces you can do that as well. Now let's repeat the same process with all the mixture. Keep everything in a plate and keep them aside. This is an instant and healthy snack option with poha or aval and also we are doing this with just two main ingredients which would be available any time at our home. Hardly 5 minutes it takes to assemble and make the snack and serve it. So I have shaped them and kept them in a plate. Now let's go ahead and shallow fry this. For this I'm taking a pan and add some oil and let's heat this on medium flame. Once oil is hot let's add our roundels one by one to the pan. So one side cooks first for 3 minutes straight and then we flip and cook the other side for 3 minutes. Please do not be in a hurry to turn them before that. And any time if you feel the temperature is too much try reducing little bit and keep cooking. So as you can see in the video one side has to get cooked until golden color before we turn to the next side and then we flip and cook the other side same way for 3 minutes or until golden color after which turn it once again and cook the first side for 2 minutes depending on how much crunchy or crispy you want it to be and then flip the other side again and cook the same way Remember we added the cashew nut pieces they add a nice crunchy feel and texture to our poha cutlet so please do not skip them and do you see how nice golden and crispy they are these are really yummy snack or lunch box option for kids so please do try this poha snack option at home anytime and do let me know how it turned out for you i hope you like this easy and instant poha aloo cutlet recipe if so smash the like button and please do share it with friends and if you haven't subscribed yet please make sure to subscribe to my channel see you all with a new and an interesting recipe thanks a lot for watching